What's up, you guys? We are here for our weekend tarot and oracle reading. We are using the Radiant Sun Oracle and the Dreaming Way Tarot. So from the Radiant Sun, we've got Mars in Gemini, which is decision. We have Venus in Sagittarius, which is flirtation. We have uh, intense allergies going on right now, which is <laughs> agony, but if I take allergy medicine that I feel worse so I'm just dealing with it. <laughs> we have Jupiter in Aquarius which is innovation and then paired with Mars and Gemini um, and decision we've got the king of wands. <coughs> and in this particular deck the King of Wands has a bit of a feminine flair. Uh, it's a feminine uh, King of Wands. So uh, remember in our um, Mystical Moments Tarot, they have, sorry. Thank you, Love Light Shining, for sending me throat chakra healing vibes. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, so in the other deck, there is a, um, they do like a, a feminine queen and a masculine king, and then they do a feminine king. And to me, that is a, a symbol of like having your masculine and feminine qualities integrated in balance. Um, as well as like your positive and negative, like all of your um, dualistic energies are in virtuous uh, balance and in uh, a just uh, injustice. Uh, so having said that, it's like the queen is a certain level of like, it's like full self mastery or a level of self mastery with the feminine attributes of that element. The masculine king would be the self-mastery of the masculine attributes of that element, the outer expression, whereas the feminine is like the inner expression. But the, uh, the, the, the feminine and the masculine together is like the self-mastery of both. It's the highest level and it's that integration of the, the inner and the outer in balanced um, and true and in integral expression with an integrity and alignment. <coughs> so, overall, our message is to sort of like bootstrap up and make a decisive choice um, with constructive will to take action and take responsibility and leadership over your life and your goals and your mindset and your energy right now. Um, it may not be easy. There may be feelings of underlying ego fears that are causing us to feel uh, like we want to procrastinate. There may even be little uh, situations rising up in our life that are uh, like causing us to like have to put our time in like time suck situations. Like for instance, I have um. <coughs> Like around spring, when it gets really wet in the woods, I usually have to be really careful about ants. And so it's so funny because I've been fighting ants this week and it's just been such a time suck and I need to get out and like go get ant traps and I might even end up calling the exterminator to just deal with it. But uh, I've been meaning all week to look up the meaning of ants. Because I'm like, spirit always puts things in your movie for a reason. And so when I looked up ants today, it was like industriousness and like working uh, with a sense of purpose and a connection to like the greater good and a greater cause, like being really connected with your inner deeper why. And I feel like that's the thing that's going to get us over the hump <coughs> of our inner fear. It's like someone needs 
your service or your product. Someone's looking for that pair of earrings that you made, you know? Don't take what you do lightly. It, it's been put into you for a reason, right? It doesn't matter whether you're an artist or a surgeon. We all have a, a part to play in this world. And it also doesn't matter if you're digging a ditch or building a skyscraper. We need everything. Everything has its place. But what makes something come alive is when you put your heart, soul, mind, and strength in it with all your heart and all your mind and all your integrity and all your, you know, ethics. When you try as hard as you can and, and you are like an unstoppable force, but maintaining your integrity and ethics, like you're sure to be victorious in the end. So it's kind of like, Okay, so the queen, the king of wands um, is get, like gains attention. They they are very charismatic and they're leaders, but they can also be a little bit um, the, in a shadow sense. They can be rigid or kind of forceful or controlling or hot tempered. So watch that part of yourself. But in the positive sense, they are super charismatic and they're um, like enigmatic enigmatic leaders and they're magnetic and they're uh, manifestors and they draw attention and they're almost like the center of attention and they radiate a, a presence just by simply being there and sitting back. It's like their warmth and their fire and their creativity and their charisma and their charm and that little zest, that magic of manifesting is is just like uh, radiating from around them. Fire, right, is the spark of the beginning of creation, right? So it's just there's a lot of cardinal energy around this. Uh, this and, and in this new beginning, that's what we need. We need that momentum. We need that spark, that catalyst. So again, it's like making up one's mind to just get over like tiredness, I like weird chores that pop up that are like time sucks, like do what you can with them and then like just kind of deal with it but like do whatever you can to 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 take heart and hold on to that that greater why right maybe you have like one person that represents what who you want to serve or why you want to do this thing you know it's like we want to put our consciousness and our focus and how this will bring goodness into the world, how this will serve others, how this will make the world a better place. When we're coming from a consciousness of sharing, even if we have like personal motives, it's like we can, we don't have to choose to like linger in on that channel. It's like, we can just like accept that, like, right, we own our shadow. Like we have, you know, um, like we can benefit from something with, and still have like, you know, connect ourselves with the greater cause. <laughs> because when you're doing something from a consciousness of sharing, it doesn't deplete you. In fact, it fills you up with even more energy and it adds more momentum and more blessing and more favor and harmony and flow to that venture or that good work because it's in affinity with the creator. Okay, and then other things about this card, um, the Mars in Gemini, is that it's like a lot of like uh, fast mental activity, a lot of curiosity, like your mind is alive and it is on fire and you're curious and you are uh, researching and maybe you're like doing uh, doing work, you're, you're, you're getting a lot of creative ideas, but this has to do with like your thoughts and your sense of curiosity and adventure and like your fired up readiness to like go for it. It's like, it's all happening. It's air and fire all at once. So it's like this mental creative spurt, this breakthrough that's bringing like a lot of inspiration and motivation. And so it's like, you just need to like channel it, right? And there could be like this disembodied fear and anxiety, but what you need to do is just in order to get over the overwhelm, take one specific action or task at a time and get through that and then let you know then go to the next thing but by taking inspired action uh that alleviates overwhelm and then it pushes the needle forward as well as bringing a sense of uh fun and play and joy to the situation if you shift out of excuse me my bandana, my, my hanky. 
If you shift out of, sorry guys, I got like a snot. <laughs> We're all family, right? <laughs> Amy Grant said that once when we were filming like this like Christmas special and uh, it was like in July and I was like, we are family, aren't we? It's like, I really felt like she meant it. Um, <laughs> maybe she did. I mean, country music people are like that. They're like very like hometown, you know, we're all, we all know each other, right? Um, uh, very, very uh, forced intimacy. <laughs> we love you. Um, so flirtation, um, have a fun sense of adventure and delight. Joy is so powerful and it's so magnetic and you get lost in time when you're having fun. So whatever the task is before you, reconnect with that why. It's like, I wanted to do this because it was my dream in life. It's, isn't it funny how we like dream of doing things in life and then when it comes down to like sitting down and doing it, you're like, oh, this is horrible. There's nothing in the world that I would rather do less than, than pursue my dream. You know, it's like, what is procrastination? What is it? What is this ego trip that we're on? <coughs> right? We're trying to rehabilitate our ego so that it's working for us and not against us. So one way around it um, is to approach the work and constant reminder to make it fun, you know, uh, make it fun for yourself. If I've got a little like work session or like homework session planned out, I try to put myself in like chick flick mode. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, oh, I'm so winning. This is fun. I love working in my career. I love doing my job. And then I, you know, pretend that it's like, you know, you're in the movie, like you're in Devil Wears Prada and you're going to work and you've got your cute outfit. You're getting your coffee and everybody knows your name. And there's a peppy song going on. And you just kind of put yourself in that mind frame and you remind yourself, oh, I enjoy this. This is a good time. And when you're in joy and when you're in love, it just it opens up everything and it expands everything. And it puts that creator energy into everything that you're doing. And that sustains. It's seeds that are sown that keep continuing on in perpetual um, uh, flow. Okay. And then, um, oh yeah. And so if you're, if you maintain your focus on the fun and the delight of it all, like here's the victory card, six of wands. It's so funny when I was pulling, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. That was out of order. We are, um, six of swords. I jumped the gun. But when I put, when I was pulling these earlier, when I pulled the king of wands and then I pulled, I was like, the next card I thought I was going to pull was was six of wands. I was like, where's our six of wands? And then it was like six, six of swords. And I was like, well, that's, that's, you know, in the same vein as six of wands. So I really want to get six of wands. And we did. Ah. So, yeah. So if you, you know, take this um, lightheartedly and you try to put yourself in that joyous, playful state, then you're going to move out of this, this stuck, this feeling of stuckness. I also see here that like, this card um, does talk about someone who tends to like someone who's got like an Indiana Jones like quality, like a hero quality, the this uh, flirtation card up here. And then six of wands here is always depicting like someone helping another person get away from a, from a bad situation. <coughs> someone is, is driving the boat. And so I feel like in this context, I feel like it's like time that we stop waiting around for someone to come rescue us or deliver us from our situation um, and, and take responsibility to be the hero in our own in our own journey. Right. We are the star of our own show. We um, in, in screenwriting, when you are when you have the character in their conflict. And suddenly this big solution is just this, like somebody else comes in and saves the day or like, oh, divine interference. And it's like, they don't really overcome for themselves. It's a dissatisfying like resolution. It's not good writing. It's like, oh, I couldn't think of anything. So I just like, oh, and then bam, it was solved, you know, like, oh, and suddenly uh, little did we know. So it's okay. We're on the corner. You know, it's like, you know, so it's, that's, it's like opportunities can present in a way that they seem like they're going to fall in your lap and they might fall in your lap, but you have to open them up and then put them to use. So, um, you know, don't wait for someone to get you out of the situation that you find yourself in now, like start taking action. Um, there, are, you know, you, this can be you moving through in a way from difficulty. 
and stress and it takes time but we're going to have to take action and have fun and, and, and get ourselves in fun, lighthearted, light-spirited energy again. This card also literally talks about like <coughs> <coughs> being blunt and uh, speaking openly um, and, you know, sharing, you know, your feelings and your thoughts, like um, honestly and, and, and sincerely and not holding back and not trying to be cryptic or anything. But it also talks about literally meeting someone that could turn into a good love match. Well, if you guys watched the romance, uh, weekly romance tarot and oracle reading last night, there was a lot of like literal, like you could be meeting someone soon kind of thing. And that's not always the case for us. Some, we're usually trying to just work on the self. So take that as you will. But usually love, money, and purpose, and like security and all of that are connected. So... <coughs> <coughs> Opportunities with both could present like at <laughs> at the same time. Okay, tickling the throat. Okay, now we have innovation with six of wands. So we're getting over difficulty and it's like if we, you know, like lend ourselves to this revelation and this new way of thinking and this conscious awakening it's like we're sure to be victorious but we've got to be industrious we've got to take action and we've got to be willing to follow ideas that might come through that are previously it's like maybe new territory right maybe you're innovating things Either way, you're like reinventing your own life and yourself and your surroundings. And so um, having like a, a sense of adventure and optimism as you do that will just lend itself even more to like your, um, your positive results. Um, Jupiter in Aquarius, it's like it's adventurous, it's open-minded, it's like optimistic, it's like anything is possible energy. And so just to keep that sense of anything is possible, it's going to lead us to victory. Because when you think anything is possible, then you'll take action, right? If you don't think something's possible, you don't want to invest your time and energy and focus into it. You'll, you'll try to avoid it. And even if you do take the action, your subconscious will sabotage it. So yeah, adopt the mindset, anything is possible, get to work, stay focused, stay industrious and, and stay industrious and keep your, um, your central focal point on the greater good and all the love that is going to come out of it and that you're putting into it. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Um, if I'm not like... <coughs> I don't want to promise because I'm like, I'm pretty tired. I had allergies. I've had lots of long nights this week. So I'm, I may or may not take a break from <coughs> more than likely I'll do it. <coughs> the secret teachings of Jesus where we uh, delve into the Gnostic gospels. All right, y'all. Ciao.